This is Pinyin in a Week. I'm your instructor Betty from YesLingo.com. Lesson four: Front Nasal Finals. Last time we finished learning about all of the compound finals, that is, the finals composed of two or more vowels. And today we're going to take it one step further and learn about the finals that are made up of both vowels and consonants. And these are called the nasal finals. The nasal finals are split into two groups, known as the front nasal finals and the back nasal finals. You can guess from the name that the nasal finals require you to make some very nasally sounds. The front nasals are composed of a single or compound vowel followed by an n. The back nasals are formed by adding an ng. To the end of a single or compound vowel. So, without further ado, let's get started learning about the front nasal finals. The first front nasal final is an an. Now, please note that is not pronounced like man or pan. Instead, it's a little bit like. On, but with the mouth slightly open wider. An, an, good. Now let's put it together with some different initials. Fan, fan, tan, tan. Very good. The next front nasal final is an. N. Do not pronounce this like N, as in men. It's more like the English pronunciation of burn or fern. How would an Englishman say these two words? He might say burn or fern without the curling of the tongue. So it's like N. Or you can even think of it like the N in taken. Un. All right. Let's put this with a couple of initials to practice. Fun. Fun. Mun. Mun. Good job. The next front nasal final is ing. Ing. This is definitely not pronounced like. In in English, it's probably more like the in in seen. In in, and when not preceded by any consonant, we already know that the ones that begin with I will be spelled as y i n. But with an initial, it would just be the initial plus i n. Let's try pronouncing some other syllables with this final. Sing, sing, ming, ming. Good job. Now let's read all three together as a final practice. An, 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 ing. Ing. Good job. Ready to move on? The next front nasal final is yen. Yen. Something to note about this one also is about the spelling. Without an initial, it's pronounced as y a n, and with the initial, it's spelled as the initial plus i a n. Yen. Let's practice this. Qian. Qian. Pian. Pian. Very good. The next nasal final is wan. Wan. Again, with the spelling of this one, because it starts with a U. We're going to replace that with a W, W A N, when there is no initial preceding this final, and it becomes one. 
However, when there is an initial, it's just initial plus U-A-N. Let's try practicing a couple of syllables. Luan, Luan, Duan, Duan. The next final is sort of like an extension of the last final. It's kind of a special case. If we look here, it's the U with a special two little dots over it. That, make, that means that it makes the U sound. So this final actually sounds like this. Yuan, yuan. See, we start with that U sound and then we add the un at the end. Yuan. Yuan. When it's not preceded by an initial, it's pronounced as Y U A N. Yuan. And also, one thing to note is that the only initials that can possibly be paired with this final are Ji, Qi, and Xi. So when these initials are paired with this final, it just becomes the initial plus U A N. Now, speaking of initials, let's go ahead and practice these syllables. Juan, 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 Juan. Very good job. Now let's read all three one more time. Yin, Wan, Yuan. I know it's kind of subtle. The differences are very, very slight. But the more you listen and the more you practice, the better you'll get at this. I promise. We're ready to move on to the next list. This one right here is Wan, Wan. Another thing to note about the spelling is that it changes. With an initial, the spelling becomes initial plus UN. We actually get rid of that E. The reason why this E is here is because it shows you how it's pronounced best. But when we're spelling it out with initial, it just becomes initial plus UN. On the other hand, if you don't have an initial and if this final is standing alone, we replace the U with a W and it becomes W-E-N. Wen. Wen. Let's do some practice. Luen. Luen. Duen. Duen. Good job. Now here is the last front nasal final we're going to talk about. And again, we see this special U with the little dots, so we know it makes the U sound. And this is Yin. Yin. It's essentially U followed by N. So it's Yin. When there's no initial preceding it, it's spelled as Y-U-N. Yin. Now again, when paired with Ji, Qi, and Xi, the spelling is just the initial plus U end. Ji, Qi, Xi are the only initials that can pair with this final. Let's read these for practice. Jun, Jun, Chun, Chun, Chun. Shing, Yin, Yin. Understand? All right. Let's read these two as a final practice. Wen, Wen, Yin, Yin. Good job. So that's it for the front nasal finals. A couple of things that I want you to remember from this lesson. When you see the U with a little dot over it, such as Yun and Yuan, they can only pair with the initials Ji, 
chi and shi. And also, when they stand alone, they begin with the letter y. And then, for all the finals that begin with i, such as ying and yin, they begin with y when they're not preceded by an initial. And same thing goes for the ones that begin with u, such as wen, wan. These will begin with W when they're not preceded by an initial. So please keep that in mind when you're learning to spell them. Okay, I think it's time to review all of the nasal finals together by reading them aloud. Follow along with me. An, an, in, yan, yin. Yuan, wan, wen. Good job. Make sure you practice these every chance that you've got. And hey, you're all done learning the front nasal finals. In the next lesson, we're going to learn the back nasal finals. But first, please remember to complete the practice problems at the bottom of this web page in order to unlock the next lesson. Good luck, and I'll see you in the next class of Pinging in a Week.